Hey guys, this review is on a app called <coughs> Excuse me, Photo Director. Just downloaded it. I've been playing with it actually for a little while, maybe 10 minutes. So the first thing uh, you want to do in order to start using this app, excuse me, is you can either import from the photo gallery or take a photo. You can take a photo from there using your camera or whatever other app you have. Or what I'm going to do, or what I did, is I just imported from the photo gallery under my gallery section, camera section, and I chose, choose, choose another four. But anyways, from my trip in, to uh, Cabo San Lucas, from there, well, there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can do a basic edit, you can crop. You can do one one that's perfect for Instagram because that's the settings that Instagram uses is the one <clears throat> one point one ratio. Three two four three sixteen nineteen three four two three nine sixteen. So those are all the different ones. So then go back, you can rotate the image, keep rotating it, keep rotating it, and keep rotating it. You can flip it, vertical flip. There you go. Then you can start adjusting it. You can do the white balance. Or you can just do it auto. I don't like that, so I'm going to go back. You can change the tone as well. Kind of like the white balance, but a little bit different. The curve. These are more for, uh, if, you're all, if you want to get real technical, <clears throat> with your photos. For most people, all you want to do is, uh, let's just go back here. All you want to do is the HSL, same thing. I don't really care about that. I like saturation. Just go like that. It just makes your uh, images look more vivid if you uh, swipe to the right hand side of the screen. And when you do that, Push down, you can see the original and the changed version. HDR, high, def high definition resolution. Once again, you can give a little bit of a kick. I wouldn't do like all the way. It gets too crisp. It looks kind of weird. Vignette, all that does is it makes it... Uh, blurs around the area. can do a shade or a feather. A feather is when it just looks blurrier. Nothing to, I don't really care about that either. So you can remove something, I guess. Let me see if this works. So I, I guess you can remove, uh, remove a tree. Weird. Well, the original's on the top left, so kind of you can remove it according to the area you picked. Type thing. I don't know what the hell that is. Weird. Effects. This is probably something most people will like. If you guys are novice users. So this is the kind of stuff that you really want to use. Cooler, red wine, purple, indigo. You can do black and white. Get close back there. <clears throat> HDR. What other effects I have? Their face. Black and white. Quite an in-depth app, actually. So many different options to choose from. It's pretty crazy. Splash. Keep the color you want in the photo and change the rest to grayscale. Mirror. So you can just mirror the image. Looks kind of cool. <laughs> it looks like an alien up there. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Oof. Freaky almost. Oh, that's cool. Blender. I guess you can blend. You can get really crazy with your photos that way. 
like I said, for me personally, I just like to have regular photos, just a little bit brighter, a little more professional, live, light leak, grunge. There's just more fi filters you can use, scratch it, it makes it look scratched out, and you can adjust that so it's a little bit or a lot. Lens flare, put those there everywhere, everywhere if you want. You got a different feel. The blur tool. Make it as big as you want. You can stretch it out with your hands. Portrait tool. <clears throat> Red eye remove smooth there. I'm not gonna bother with that. What's this out of here? Insta fill. So the background is, <clears throat> is blurred out a little bit according to how much you make. And you can have your image in there as well. It's kind of a cool app, I guess. Or a <clears throat> cool filter. What's this there here? Pen tool. So it makes weird little dots. You can use that. Rainbow, stars, <laughs> Jeez, it's crazy, some of these apps, text bubble, so you can use different types of text bubbles if you want, you can type your text in there, I guess. Mexico. And you can just change that any way you want. There's so many different uh, bubbles. Holy jeez, what an app. Unbelievable how much stuff you can do with this. And then you can change the font. You can probably change the size of it. Of course you can. You can do everything with this bloody thing. Color. You have a border if you want around it. Any color you want. <clears throat> And then the frame, you can uh, put a frame around it, kind of cool. That one's neat, looks like it's recording when it's not. So there you go, there's a lot of different options for this. Definitely uh, cool, very nice app. What's this? Let me just get back there. So what you do then, once you have something you like, we'll, just, we'll throw a frame around it. Click on the check mark. Do anything else. If you want to uh, mirror it, click on the check mark. It'll do that while it has the board around it. <clears throat> Artistic app. You can choose anything you want there. Hit the check mark. And then from there, if you like what it looks like, you just click on the save. And then you can output it to Instagram, WhatsApp, Aviary, Bluetooth, or whatever. So you can export that. And then publish it to all the different applications and web programs I just told you about. Once again, there you go. Your photo is saved to the Photo, al photo Director album. So if you go here, in your gallery section, Photo Director album right there. And there it is. And then from there, if you want, obviously you can. Well, you can't. I thought you could export it right from here. You should be able to, I would think, but. Whatever. Anyways, that's about it for this, uh, this app. Photo Director is a pretty cool app. It def definitely has a lot of options for it. The price, you can't beat it, obviously, at free. Um, I would recommend it. Download it. Try it out. Um, if you have any questions or comments about the photo director, if I can help you, I will. Just leave those comments right below this video on YouTube. Also, please click on the like button to show support. If this, um, 
this video review of photo director help you out show you how the app work i guess i did my job so just click on the like button and also click on subscribe to be informed of future videos i do of other photography apps for <clears throat> for the android slash iphone and once again thanks for watching this review of the photo director photography app